Hey guys, Sam and Lucas here with another First Light update video. Um, short one today, but we wanted to get something out. We're really appreciating the support from everyone. I just want to add that there. Uh, it's been phenomenal lately. Lots of views on YouTube, uh, lots of support on Twitter. It's great, so please keep it up, everyone. We love it. Um, so a couple of little features uh, today to talk about. First one I want to show you is an update I've made to the shadows. So you would have noticed before our shadows were pretty meh. Maybe we'll, we'll stick a screenshot up there for you. You see, not very nice. Um, so what I've done is changed our shader so that we have soft shadows. So it's... Um, Pretty clever, I think, if I do say so myself. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, I would. Um, so I'll just go down here and show you. Immediately, you can see it looks a lot nicer. Um, just gives it a really soft, you know, it's still real shadows from the sun, so it's not like the old block-based lighting system that we had, but it does look a lot more like it. Um, you'll find screenshots of that on our website in old blog posts and things. Um, but yeah, this gives us a similar really soft look, but still with proper directional shadows. So I think it's a it's a big improvement on the yeah, it's, old... It's jagged looking it's ones. It's definitely yeah. better than the the original shadow implementation where it was yeah it was very lots of straight edges and yeah jaggedness where things didn't line up properly because of that's just how shadows work. So yeah, definitely a big improvement there. And you can see there's still a few uh little issues um that we will be working on in the coming days you can see a few lines there in the shadow that's all stuff i'm looking into should be able to fix most of it and yeah definitely improve it um there are obviously always going to be some sort of shadow artifacts and just today we were looking up at the roof in our office and went you know what real shadows have shadow artifacts too so uh yeah some weird i don't know what was doing that it must have been shining through something funny Anyway, we're not too uh, too worried about that as long as it's presentable enough. Yeah, I think I think we're noticing these little things a lot more because we're spending all day working on it. So yeah, once you start working on a uh, procedural generation sort of world, you never look at things the same. I <laughs> I look at hills as I'm driving around and think, oh, they look nice, or you know that. I wonder Not what much function variation there. Yeah. You're like, "Oh, I wonder what function I can implement to make trees look like that." Yeah. So, uh it it, it changes you. I don't know if it's for the for best or not, but or for worse. Yeah. So, uh that's the shadows. Um yeah. Uh I've been working on a launcher which you may have seen my post about on the website. Um not a whole lot to show. Uh, as yet, we are we're getting we're getting there. I will be putting more effort in over the coming weeks on the launcher. But at the moment, username and password. You can log in, download the game, and launch it, and it's all uh, nice and secure, relatively speaking. And uh, should stop people trying to distribute our game and uh, not paying for it, which is the end goal, really. But yeah. Uh, if you want to read more about how that all works, there's a post up on the blog about it. Um, apart from that, we've got we've got new trees, so Sam mm. can tell you about them. We'll just fly over here, ignore the broken tree just below us. Uh, palm trees. Yeah, I know they look a bit funny, but how do you make a palm tree from voxels? Tell me that. Like, yeah, if anyone it's... wants to uh, fire up, uh, like voxel editing software and draw us one go for it uh we might 
we might adjust these a little bit as we go. It would We're be nice to get some curved some trunks. curves in the trunks. We've had a couple of requests on uh, on Twitter for that, but for the time being, uh, they're looking pretty good. So we've got the uh, world set up to generate these palm trees in uh, low elevation areas in tropical climates. So hot and wet, basically. Just and like real palm trees. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I haven't really researched palm trees, but I think that's how it works. Yeah, probably. So, yeah, we might adjust these as we go, but for now it gives us a bit more variation in the sort of flora we have around. And they don't look too silly. I mean, they're they all right. They blend in. They blend in. Yeah. So... uh that's about it for that this is. update. Uh, we'll be working on probably entity management soon and might be getting some, some things happening in the game, which will be nice to show off probably in our next video. Yeah. I'm planning to keep working on the shadows a bit more, clean up some of those artifacts. And we're also considering uh, expanding our outline effect. So you see how we have outlines on the voxels um oh it's raining great uh we're considering expanding that effect so that it occurs on all corners not just sort of the edges if if you like so at the moment it's calculated as per the uh the depth in the depth shader so here I am trying to point to something and realizing that that's not actually going to work for you guys but uh the lines really only show up where there's a drastic change in depth sort of thing. So what we need to do is, uh, on top of that effect, add lines where there's a change in the normal direction of the surface. So all corners. some edges. people might not get that. But when the faces point in different directions... Put a line there, basically. Yeah. Um... So simple, it'll be simple to add into the shader. But the idea uh, behind us doing that is we are considering removing the ambient occlusion. Or which, at least making it optional. Yeah, so I'll just turn that off now so that you see. That's what it looks like without. And um, as you can tell, with some with some lines, it might be tolerable. Yeah, it, uh, it might look nice, so we just want to see what that looks like, basically. And at least give the option in-game for people with lower-end computers, lower-spec computers, and, and give them the option to still play and yeah. have a decent enough effect. Ambient occlusion is a terrible, a terrible performance hit. So Ambient occlusion and shadows are the two main sort of bottlenecks we're facing at the moment. And, and apparently rain. And a, I don't know if you can see that, but our rain just died for a that while. That could also be fraps, but... Yes. Um, yeah, so that's what we're working on. Yeah. So uh, thank you for, for watching our video, and uh, we'll be sure to keep everyone updated on Twitter. And if you haven't, go follow us. Follow us on YouTube. Subscribe, whatever it's called. And yeah, our blog as well for more detailed information yeah, on what we've been up to. if you haven't checked out our website, go have a look. Um, I'm sure you'll find a link somewhere obvious. Uh, it's firstlightgame.com. Pretty easy. Um, yeah, plenty of information on there. And yeah, as I think we mentioned in the last video, we are we're people, so talk to us. Let us know what you think. And, yeah. uh, and support us. Uh, we have something in the works. Can't say much yet, but um, we we want to make it easier for you guys to support what we do. Uh, so that's about it for today, I think. Yeah, cool. Thank you for watching.